UNESCO has taken documents from the Nanjing massacre into its Memory of the World Register. The decision was made during a three-day meeting in the United Arab Emirates earlier this week. 88 submissions from 61 countries were examined as part of this year's nominating cycle. As CCTV's Ian McKinnell reports, 47 were accepted. Nanjing, China, December 13, 1937. The city fell into the hands of the Japanese invaders. Lasting over six weeks, the Nanjing massacre saw the deaths of some 300,000 Chinese civilians and unarmed soldiers. According to UNESCO, the documents of the Nanjing massacre consist of three sections. The first concerns the period of the massacre. The second relates to the post-war investigation and trials of war criminals, which were documented by the Chinese National Government's Military Tribunal. The third deals with files from the judicial authorities of the People's Republic of China. The memory of the World Register was set up in 1992. The UNESCO archive aims to preserve and document records of important historical events for the benefit of present and future generations. Memory of the World Program is a very important program because it preserves the most important documents of the world. Many such documents have been damaged or lost in the past, and because of this, some history has been forgotten. So our goal is to preserve these documents for the whole human race and to pass them on to future generations. China now has 10 inscriptions in the memory of the World Register. The decision to add the Nanjing documents was made at a meeting in Abu Dhabi between the 4th and 6th of October. It was the result of a two-year process conducted by the International Advisory Committee of UNESCO's Memory of the World program. UNESCO hopes the register will help international cooperation by building mutual understanding between nations. Ian McKinnell. CCTV.